So I'm kind of digging into the Coors, Power Coors won't sell as this, it's another year. Uh, however, somehow it got me thinking about my book that I'm writing and about Jill Lutz and Felix Guattari's War Machine. Um, and the idea of peace that is sort of there. And maybe I can sort of talk about this a little bit, if possible. Um, the war machine is not, it has to do with the nomad, and I'll explain that a little bit, if, if possible. Um, the war machine for Deleuze and Guattari is something that is always resistant of the state. It's all, and the state is not just, can be, can be a political, governmental thing that is above a certain people or whatever, or, or the state can also be a overriding doctrine or overriding philosophy that people always believe in. However, the war machine um, is this constantly moving, deterritorializing and re-territorializing re thought process about everything. And the, the nomad is somebody who is um, actively doing what a war machine, you know, is. What the, what the war machine is. The war machine is this fact about life that to lose. Well, it's not really a fact about life. It's just a fact about everything. About how basically there's always going to be one certain overriding power and one overriding well few, many uh, many or a couple main overriding government and, and main oh, main overriding trends of thought and the war machine is this constant will of the world to basically uh, fight it and to find conflict within that and to resist it the nomad is somebody who you know, a, norm, a nomad in history is somebody who moves from from place to place, kind of like a uh, Mongolian in uh, historic times of Genghis Khan, Kublai Khan, and stuff like stuff like that. The nomad and Deleuze in, in thinking with Deleuze is something is a person or thing that moves between thought processes that move between you know different ways of thought and never sticks with any one of them for any longer for any one longer period of time and anything the state in the state and or anything that is trying to re remain present they try to resist it and the war machine makes me think about peace and war um the war machine you know for to lose does not regularly mean actual fighting war it doesn't regularly mean that However, for me, thinking about it, it can lead to that because resisting a certain government or resisting a certain thought process or a certain certain philosophy um, can lead to war, and it does lead to war on on, on, a, da on a daily basis. Um, people in the Middle East resisting Islam. That's why people die of, by ISIS. Um, you know, people who resist any religion, you know, a lot of times die because of that. Uh, people who resist a fascist or, to or totalitarian state or government die because of that. Um, and war and peace occurs because of this very concept. And I know I've discussed my book when in a recent video. But my book is about peace and how we can have any of that at all. And my answer, of course, is that we cannot, except for on a very local, social way. And that the world is always going to be filled with crazy people. Well, I'm, I'm going to say it in a, in a philosophical argument, but my mainly, mainly what I think is that we're never going to get at, we're never going to get, get away from that. There's always going to be war. And there's not really going to be a whole lot, a whole lot of peace. However, I plan on talking about war and peace, and sort of deconstructing both concepts, and basically showing how how a small, lower level of peace can be achieved only if we do a certain thing, which I have 
I will discuss further once I have actually something written. And there's a few books that I plan on actually reading and getting into to see if anything in these in the in a few certain books do <clears throat> um, have any bearing or have any or do speak to my question. And one of them is powered towards oneself and another, and um, the other one uh, is Derrida's Specters of Marx and uh, is of hospitality, and as well as the Blues of Atari's anti anti Oedipus. Um, and I, I know a, lot, a good bit about what those things are, but I want to get dig more into them than I, I really ever have, and uh, you know, figure some stuff out. And once I have those few things read and figured out, and, or I guess I figure out whatever I want to figure out <clears throat> about those works, then I'll start writing. But but um. I've kind of been thinking about this idea of this war machine and how you can't escape war, you can't escape peace, especially if you are this Deleuzian being. And I, I guess I want to talk about talk more about that in a different video, about what it means to be a Deleuzian being. Or a Deleuzian um, person. But a Deleuzian a subject. Um, that's a good uh, point of inquiry, I guess, because it's always going to be about becoming, not about being. Um, and it's always going to become. It's, it's always about deterritorializing and re and reterritorializing and going forth and backward and what we believe in and what we think about and what we obey. Um, and it's about being a true, a true nomad. Um, Derrida has a similar thought process on this, and it's more about uh, marginalizing and, you know, this play, I guess, is a better way of talking about Derrida. But um, the war machine is always going to lead to war, and it's always going to lead to peace. So that's, I kind of want to think about these two concepts of, concepts of war and peace, and um, they are both things that are interlocked within each other. You cannot have war without peace. You cannot have peace without, without war. Same with Derrida's friend enemy. You can't have a friend without the, with, without the enemy and vice versa. It's just that's the way things are if you look at it from a deconstructive <clears throat> or, um, deter or a deterritorializing viewpoint. I don't know. I mean, I have some things to think about, I guess. Let me know what your thoughts, your thoughts are in the comments below. Uh, no, I'm probably not going to discuss my full project here um, until I have something written and I'm ready to go to a, I'm ready to go to a publisher, um, which will probably be a while. <laughs> um, so, 